In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between will and be going to. Which one do you use in which situation? So you probably know that both will and be going to are future tenses, but what is the difference? Sometimes they are the same and sometimes they're different depending on the situation. So let's look at those situations. Both will and be going to are used for the distant future and for predictions. And they are very, very similar in meaning, if not identical. So let's look more closely at that. Will and be going to are used in the distant future. What is the distant future? These are future plans in the distant future, a long way away. These can be plans and hopes that you have for the future. Nothing concrete. It's the general future a long way off. There is a small difference between will and be going to in this situation because will is more formal and be going to is more informal. That just means the situation you're talking about, if it's a formal situation, like maybe graduating from university, then you would use will. If it's a family situation, then it's be going to. So it depends on the situation. Here's an example sentence that uses both will and be going to correctly in the sentence. Everyone will be married with kids in the near future or everyone is going to be married with kids in the next few years. This is general distance plans because most people plan to get married and have kids, but it could be a prediction too. Which brings me to the next thing, will and be going to are identical when it comes to predictions. Both can be used to talk about predictions or guesses in the future. Here's another example sentence. Soon enough, everyone will be driving electric cars. Soon enough, everyone is going to be driving electric cars. This is a prediction in the future, in the distant future, and they both have the same meaning. There's no difference here. Here's another prediction for you. I predict you will be rich in the future. I predict you're going to be rich in the future. Same meaning, no difference. Okay, so we looked at how they are the same, but now let's look at where they differ. Here's where they differ. The immediate future, plan before speaking, promises and threats, offers of help, decisions now. That means instant decisions made at the time of speaking. So let's go over them in more detail. Be going to is used for the immediate future. Using be going to for the immediate future, this means there is evidence now that something is going to happen in the next moment. Evidence or proof. So you can make a valid prediction of what's going to happen in the next second. Like in this example sentence, look out, you're going to hit that cyclist or that bicyclist. Look out, you're going to hit that bicyclist. So there's evidence now that he may very well hit her as he speeds through this Another example of evidence in the present to predict the immediate future is the weather. You can tell by the clouds in the sky what's going to happen next. Here's the example sentence. It looks like it's going to snow. We'd better get home before the roads become slippery. It looks like it's going to snow because there's snow clouds in the, in the sky. Be going to is used for plans before speaking. If you make a plan before you speak, then you must use be going to. It's already in place. So be going to is, these are decisions and plans made before speaking about them. That means they are already set up. They have already been arranged. Tickets bought, reservations made, etc. Here's another example. We're going to the movies tonight. I bought tickets. Tickets were bought. Plans were made. Reservations were done. It's happening. Here's another example. I'm going camping this weekend. Do you want to come? I'm going camping. Note, I didn't say I'm going to go camp. Both are equally correct in this situation. Let's just say it's shorter and English people don't like to repeat words. But there's another secret reason why, and that is the present continuous can be used just like be going to with plans made before speaking. Now, will is used for promises and threats. Think about it. Promises and threats are the same thing. I promise to do this for you, and I promise to do this to you. Here's an example sentence. I promise I'll clean my room later, mom. You hear kids saying that all the time. I will. I'll do it later. I will. Those are promises. 
Here's another example sentence. I will love you forever. This one's classic. I will love you forever. You make that promise when you take your vows in marriage. And as far as uh, threats go, I will kill you if you don't stop shouting. She doesn't really mean it, but she is threatening to like throw something at your head. Maybe it is a threat. So I will is used for threats. Here's another example sentence. I will tell her you're cheating on her. Will is also used for offers of help. This has something to do with the time of speaking decisions now, which you will see in the next example. But when you offer to help someone, you're making that decision right now to do it. Here's an example sentence. I'll help you with those bags. I'll drive you to the airport. That's an offer of help. And the last category, will, is used for decisions now. They're also called instant decisions. That's when you decide at the time of speaking, not before, because that's different. Let's look at an example sentence. I'm going to Thailand next month. Do you want to come? I'll go to Thailand with you. I've never been before. Yeah, let's do it. Here's another example of making a decision at the time of speaking. Hey, John, we're going out for dinner. Do you want to come? Sure, I'll go. What, what restaurant are you guys going to? Sure, I'll go. It's a decision now. Okay, in summary, will is used for the following situations. Distant, future, especially informal situations, predictions, promises and threats, offers of help, and decisions made now. And be going to is used for distant, future, especially for informal situations. Immediate future, when there is evidence now that something's going to happen in the next moment, for predictions, and plans before speaking. That's a big one. And just a reminder that both are used for the distant future and prediction. I'll finish on a note of pronunciation. Remember, the pronunciation of going to is gonna, but you never write that. Gonna is for speaking only. I'm gonna be late. But if you're gonna write it, you must write going to. An English grammar lesson by Melissa.